Well, I mean, let me just give you my personal view. I mean, it's not surprising. <laughs> I mean, the way the, 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 this year has been looked like. I mean, we still have to wait to the end of the year um, to, to have higher certainty. But it does look like it's one of the warmest year on the record. And certainly, for example, in Central Europe, we had one of the hottest, the, the hottest July ever on record. Uh, so let me put it this way. I mean, the important finding of the IPCC AR5 is with that with a high certainty we know that the climate is changing. Um, you know, attribution of single events, shorter term events to climate change, I think continues to be very, very difficult and uncertain. But the other way around, we have quite lots of certainty. As the climate as the climate changes on average, we can also expect to be hitting lots of lots of records on the upper end of the scale. Uh, in the coming decades. So for that, I think there is quite a, quite a high certainty. And the problem is that many of those events might be very extreme. And this is why I think also the consequences of extreme events and the risk perception that IPCC already started in the AR5 are so important. So my conclusion is one shouldn't be surprised. Surprised, you know, if there are phases like hiatus where we are below the trend, we should not be surprised if there are phases when we are above the trend. I think what is very sign significant is that the trend uh, is going upwards unless we, we can implement immediate mitigation of climate change, namely of greenhouse gas emissions and other substances.